Hey guys, we're here with another catch up for Short and Sweet happening in Sydney. And I'm joined by Frank and Debbie's, whose play is You Won't Believe. And this sounds like a really fascinating play. I've seen some really interesting ones, some really funny ones, some really engaging ones so far. But uh, Frank, you're the writer of, of this play and directing it. So can you yep. tell me about it? Look, it's, um, it's a play about uh, a woman who's lived a, a, a very shut-in life, like looking after a mother. Mum then passes away um, and she starts moderately expanding her horizons and ends up going online to an online dating app As and gets targeted, targeted by a romance scammer. So the mm. whole thing Debbie plays, it's just... A one-person play, so she does everything. So it, it, it's the, the the interaction between the online scammer and and uh, the woman whose name's Grace, and and how I'm hoping we feel like a bit of empathy for her at the beginning. She's such an innocent, but mm. there's something else going on in the background that I don't really want to give away, but it'll be revealed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic, Debbie. How's it? How is it playing a a one-person play when you're actually interacting with other people. How, how do you do that? It can be a bit of a challenge because I suppose uh, it's just you to rely on. There's no one, you know, if you forget a line, you drop a line, it's like, oh, no, it's just me. I've got to kind of mm -hmm. keep it going. Um, but I guess you've got a certain kind of freedom to be able to do different voices if you're, like, pretending to be the other character. So I kind of like that. Um, oh. Yeah. Doing it so far. Debbie's amazing. She plays and uses the whole space. There's a whole thing going on, and then you realise, oh, I was just imagining that. Like she just <laughs> brings it to life. It's quite amazing. That, that's fantastic. Yeah, um, she, she was in week one, and she did a play she wrote and directed as well called Diary of Marilyn. I mean, I went and saw it. Absolutely amazing. It was like Marilyn was back on stage. I, I, I was at the show, but because uh, I was working, I didn't get to see them, but I had people coming out and talking about that one. Mm. So you definitely left an impression on people. So well oh, done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Frank, what, what's the inspiration behind this story? Anything in particular? Look, I've, I've been writing for Short and Sweet for 10 plus years now. Like I, and I've only just started directing. So I, I guess I'm always looking for those my mind's always open for those stories that would make a great little 10 minute play because I really love the art form. Mm. Um, and look, I, I think I was just reading a story in the newspaper or watching something on Dr. Phil or something about these people and you hear the stories the scammers come up with and they're so unbelievable. And yet these poor people that are so desperate for love mm. to swallow it hook, line and sinker. They ask no questions. Anything they say, they take as gospel. And and that, and that was kind of the impetus for the story. And I was trying to think now, you know, but do we really want the, the the person that's being scammed to end up penniless and heartbroken at the end? And I don't think we do. So mm. it was trying to figure out a way to, to, to put a bit of justice back into that weird scammer victim relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Now, De Debbie, just before I go to you with another question, Frank, can you just introduce your furry friend to us? This is Buster. Say hello. Oh, Buster. He's, uh, uh, he's very much a lap dog, a people dog, and a bit of a pain in the ass. This is the one drawback from Zoom meetings is you can't get <laughs> the dog. No, uh, you can't rock the dog out. What a shame. All right, so Debbie, is there anything about this character that related to you? Oh, um... God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh, she's very different, I think. I hope so. Um, so I've just had fun with the contrast of it, really. Mm. Like, even kind of the voice, I think, is quite different in the mannerisms. Um, I suppose there's a sense of kind of energy that maybe might be similar, I yeah. guess. I can be quite excited and bubbly and I've tried to, <laughs> when this character gets quite excited, I've just kind of let that go. So that's been kind of nice, but. And I guess deep down, look, looking for love is a common denominator yeah. in everyone. So yeah, hopefully yeah, sure. everyone can associate and empathize with, with the character. Definitely, and that excitement of thinking you've met someone yeah. new and it's like different. So <laughs> yeah. I suppose, yeah, she just has a slightly different approach to it, so. 
Uh, I've I found when I've uh, performed on stage, my favorite favorite to characters are always ones completely different to myself. So usually mm. a villain, usually someone like Bill Sykes was my favorite character to okay. have played on stage. So uh, I, I know when you're playing something different, yeah, it can be thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah. Well, uh, look, um, thanks so much for joining us this morning. I really, no, really appreciate that. Is there any l one last thing you want to convey to you, our audiences to say why they should see see your play in particular? Um, I think, look, I was just going to say we, we use a very few props. Like there's like really only one prop. So everything, it's a whole imaginary world. Debbie brings it to life beautifully. Um, I think it's a play that's going to take you in a direction you're not expecting to go. So hopefully Great. there'll be a nice, oh my God moment at the end, like when, when the kind of the reveal is revealed. That's what I love about Short and Sweet too. So much can happen in just 10 minutes. Yeah, you, yeah you absolutely. Several plays, but you are on a journey on every single one of yep. them. So yep. fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's no second act, but there's certainly a story arc in, in that 10 minutes. And that arc can be quite steep and quite quite a journey in itself, yeah. Terrific, terrific. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us. Now, Short and Sweet takes a break for the next week and then is back on the... What date is the, your first performance? Do you guys know? Um, but the... So it's not next week, it's a week after. Yeah, so. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you me on the back <laughs> so I should have it in front of me. I should have the dates. Yeah. But just know for those watching at home, yeah. one week off and then Short and Sweet is returning in full force. And we, we can't wait to see what comes up. Thanks again. Good luck with okay. it all. And we'll Thanks. see you in the theatre. Thanks for joining us.